This is John Metabal from John Metabal Tutoring, and this is Last Minute SAT Tips Part 3, the Last Minute SAT Tips that I'm doing for the October 1st, 2016 test date. Of course, they'll be perfectly fine for people taking it at later test dates until they change the SAT again. Even then, these math things will still be perfectly applicable, these math facts. So right now we're going to talk about averages, medians, and modes. Averages and medians and modes, oh my. All right, averages. The average, they mean, ha ha ha, sorry about the pun, on the SAT and ACT is the arithmetic mean, which is simply the sum of numbers you want to average divided by the number of numbers you want to average. I haven't been able to find any other definition of average than the arithmetic mean, but they always put that on the SAT, the average, then the parentheses, arithmetic mean. So don't let that throw you. They mean exactly the meaning of average that you think they, in quotes, mean, ha ha ha, or intend to communicate with you. So for example, the average of three, five, and seven would just be three plus five plus seven over three because three, five, and seven are three different numbers. So since we have three numbers that are three, five, and seven, the average is 15 over three, which is equal to five. Also, you'd probably be able to tell that just by looking at three and seven and saying, okay, three plus two is five, five plus two is seven. So five is exactly in the middle of the three numbers. So I'll bet that's the average. If you thought that, you were correct. Most likely average problems you're going to run across on the SAT and or the ACT are things such as this. If the average of 4, 10, and X is 6, what is X? So then set up the problem as 4 plus 10 plus X over 3 equals 6. Then multiply through by 3 so you, and add the 4 and the 10, so you get 14 plus X equals 18, so X is equal to 4. Pretty easy, as long as you know how to do an average, it doesn't matter what number they make the mystery number or you know, exchange a variable for the number, you'll be able to solve for it as long as you understand basic algebra. Here's another question you might run into. Bob needs a 90% average to stay in honors English. Bob's average for the last three tests is 88. What's my what must Bob score on his fourth test, excuse me, to raise his average to a 90? Well, we know that the sum of the three tests is going to be 88 times 3. That's 88 plus 88 plus 88 is equal to 264. Now, you might be asking, but John, I'm pretty sure he probably didn't score an exact 88 on all three tests. It doesn't matter. We don't need to know the individual scores on the three tests. So as long as we know that the sum of the three tests is 264, then we have 264 plus S over 4 equals 90, where S is going to be the score that he needs on his fourth test. So we multiply through by 4 to get 360. So 360 minus 264 is equal to S, which is 96. So Bob's got to do pretty well on this next test to stay at honors. <coughs> All right. On to the next concept we're going to discuss, the median. Well, the median's like a strip in the middle of a highway, freeway, or divided roadway, which is why that's called a highway median. It's the very middle number. So if there's an odd number of numbers, just list them in order and pick the middle one. So let's say we have the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. I know, how original. Anyway, the median is going to be 5 because there's two values before it and two values after it. So 5 is the middle number it's much more likely that there will be an even number of numbers because then they'll be able to test to see if you know what you have to do when there's an even number of numbers, which is take the average of the middle two. So here we have one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11. Okay, woo, there's six numbers. So what do we do? We have to take the two middle ones, five and seven, and average them. So five plus seven is 12 over two equals six. So. The idea is the SAT people are going to ask you about an exception to the rule or a more complex part of the rule so they can know if you know that part of the rule. You'll see that on other tests later in life. The median and the mode. These are probably the most advanced statistical concepts or ideas that you will have to 
no for the SAT. So if you see the same number listed more than once, you will have to count that number as two values. So the median of this list of numbers, 1, 1 1.5, 1.75, 2, 2, 3, and 5, is 2 because 2 is the fourth of seven values. It's not the average of 1.75 and 2, which is what it would be if 2 only counted once, because you have 1, 2, 3, then if 2 only counted once, that's 4, 5, 6, so you'd have to average 2 or 1.75. But you have to count each occurrence as of 2 as a separate value, so there are actually seven different values here. So here, 2 is also the mode which is the most common response. That's all mode means, is whatever the most popular, the most commonly occurring response is. So on an SAT problem, it's likely to be the only repeated value, and by definition, that would be the most repeated value. Or they might have one that repeats twice and one that repeats three times. So you won't need to know any more statistical terms or definitions than mean, median, and mode for the SAT or the ACT. Except for, I mean, on an SAT practice test, I've seen the line of best fit and the percentage variation, but they'll be presented to you in such a way they should be really easy for you to figure out. They're not going to ask you about statistical ideas such as standard deviation or anything like that, I mean, R squared, any of that stuff. Trust me, they will not be asking you about that. So we'll end this with a little geek joke for you. What's this? 1, 2, 3, 3.14159, 3.14159, 3.14159, 4 and 5. It's pi a la mode. Get it? Pi is the mode. Ha ha ha. Okay, please don't throw anything at me, but please do see my website, johnlinnaball.com, for more SAT tips and read the blog. That's where you will find them. You can also get my contact information if you'd like to contact me about tutoring, and good luck on the SAT. All right, have a nice day.